Uh, good day. Today is the third E lecture and it's a continuation of topic two. Now uh, there is this question right here is talking about the whole shaft assembly. And from here we want to determine the hole and shaft dimension. So let's start working with an example here. The key words here one we need to take note of is nominal size, then whole basis. Uh, these two I want to start first. Uh. So we will talk about whole basis. So let's start whole basis. Uh. So to be a whole basis system, let me draw the nominal first. The nominal is 25. Whole basis simply means the torrent start from the whole torrent start from the line basic line simple as that ah. this is called this is the whole so whole basis start like that just to deviate a bit ah, onto the right hand side i'm going to say what is sharp basis ah. so when we have whole basis we have to have sharp basis ah. sharp basis means let's say this is the part 25 the torrents for the shaft, shaft, not hole, shaft, starts from the zero line. So here is the salient feature between hole basis and shaft basis. Now with that known, let's continue. He says that the nominal size 25 and both are clearance. Very good, you see? Maximum clearance, minimum clearance means at all time you have clearance. At all time there is a gap. So for that to happen, the shaft has to be beneath it. Otherwise it will not happen. Huh? So the shaft is always there because it says maximum minimum clearance. And now let's put the dimension there. Maximum clearance here to here. 0 0.35 minimum clearance here to here 0 0.05 and the next condition given is shaft hole tolerance ratio means that the shaft tolerance is smaller than the hole tolerance uh, by 2 is to 3 so if if this is 2x this will be 3x so basically you are given all the condition now and we can solve this equation by looking at the model let's say it start from here we will say 2x plus 0 0.05 plus 3x will be equal to 0 0.35 that's what i'm going to do i'm going to say here 2x plus 0 0.05 plus 3x equal to 0 0.35 then solve with this guy I will have 5x equal to 0.35 bringing this over subtract 0 0.05 that give me 0 0.3 and x will be 0 0.3 divided by 5 and that will give me 0 0.0 6. Now the objective is to find the whole size. Eh? So now I got the x. So whole size is here. So I say whole maximum. Whole maximum will be 25 plus 3x. That is 25 plus 3 bracket. 0, 06 please do not add them up uh, just leave it as it is uh, you will know a while later why you do that uh. then whole minimum will be 25 plus 0 so then whole size will be 25 which is the basic size, uh, 
and then the torus you have is plus 0 0.18 plus 0 now we come back we have finished the whole already so let's highlight the answer here now I need to work on the shaft size huh? uh, looking at the space I have I did not optimize it well huh? so let me draw a line here and work over this end uh, for the shaft uh. so I say shaft maximum shaft maximum will be 25 subtract 0 0.05 shaft minimum will be 25 subtract 0 0.05 and further subtract 2x which will be 25 subtract 0 0.05 subtract 2 bracket 0 0.06 and that will give me 25 subtract 0 0.17 and finally I have my shaft size will be again uh, 25 is the nominal size uh, both have to be the same uh, and the upper limit is minus 0 0.05 subtract 0 0.17 just box up the answer make it interesting and that is the end of this small presentation uh. I'll see you later.